Update 8 is finally here and we have some things to go over. Things have not been going to plan and we have a lot to cover because we got a few things wrong with our predictions about what was going to happen in the market and what big games was going to do with this update. In order to get the most up-to-date changes about Pet Simulator 99, you need to be joined up on my Discord. Link is down in the description below. It is honestly just the best place to find out what is happening in the game before these videos come out. We also do a lot of giveaways for huges and diamonds on there, so there is no reason you shouldn't be joined up by now. Let's get right into it though, because I have some unfortunate news. Well, honestly, I don't really know where to start. Update 8 has kind of been a little bit of a disaster. I don't know if that's just on my side and my views personally, but it seems like almost everything that could have went wrong went wrong with this update. I hate to be that negative guy, but that's just how I feel and I don't want to mislead you guys. Now, this update is massive and they did change quite a bit, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to cover all of the important aspects in this video, but we're going to go over some of the major ones that stuck out to me in the first few hours of playing the game. Now, the first big change that I should mention is that they did try to implement some counter inflation measures into the game to try to slow down inflation from what it seems. The first change dealing with that is a new fee that is added to the mailbox. So every time you send a piece of mail out to somebody, this number actually increases. The highest fee I've seen from somebody posting is currently a hundred thousand diamonds to send one thing to somebody. So that's pretty crazy. By adding this into the game, this is taking diamonds out of the economy like we talked about in my last market analysis video where I talked about the issues of inflation. So clearly big games either listened to that or had some plans already to try to counter the major inflation that we could potentially be seeing. I've seen a lot of people pretty angry with this change. Personally, I don't think this is a big deal and honestly just another attempt from big games to try to counter inflation that everybody complains about. So it seems like big games is going to get some backlash no matter what they do. But from my perspective, it seems like at least they're trying. The next change that they implemented to try to slow down inflation is actually a fee to the booths in the training plaza. So now if you sell anything in the plaza, you are going to get a 1% fee tacked onto that final selling price. So for example, if you sell something for 100k, they are going to take a thousand diamonds off that selling price and give you 99,000. There was a reason I didn't mention this in my last video as a suggestion to the devs. I feel like this game is so heavily centered around trading and the vast majority of people that still play Pet Simulator 99 spend a lot of their time trading. So I think anything that really deters people from trading could really hurt the quality of life from the game. But I understand from the devs perspective as they are trying to fight inflation, which this change is a very good thing to do that because a lot of people that do get very rich are getting rich from trading and flipping stuff. So that 1% fee doesn't sound like a lot, but it really adds up in the long run. And another reason why this is a good change is because this does help stop uh, those rap manipulators. People that buy and sell things with their alls to try to manipulate the wrap value of certain items. By implementing this 1% fee, they essentially have to pay 1% of that price that they're trying to inflate an item to, which will most likely deter most people from trying to do this. And honestly, I'd probably expect a lot less manipulated prices in the near future due to this change. There are a ton of people really upset about this, however. For this example, I'll just give Big Games props because they are trying to do something to fight inflation and to stop rap manipulators. So overall, that is a good thing. I'm not sure if this is the best way to do it, but I didn't have any better suggestions to give them, really. We're just going to have to leave it at that. Now, another thing related to that is that I was right about them increasing the gem cap. But I was completely wrong about how much they would increase it to. I think I said 4 to 5 billion diamonds is what I expected them to increase the cap to. And it is now 25 billion. 
that means that players can now sell their Titanics for up to 25 billion diamonds and actually hold 25 billion diamonds in their inventories at a time. I think in the long run, this is another thing that is going to push inflation further. But due to some other changes, it seems like we could potentially see some deflation in the near future. Now, I probably will be saying this a lot in this video, unfortunately, but another disappointing feature of this new update are actually the hype eggs. So as you guys know, if you were able to log in at the beginning of the update, you were going to get as many hype eggs as your level. So as you guys can see, I have 19 hype eggs here and you have a chance at all of these huges. The problem with these hype eggs is that everybody that's opening them is getting absolute trash so i'm not sure what they did with the odds of these things prior to the update we were under the assumption that these were going to be like exclusive eggs so we were going into it thinking that there were going to be some exclusive pets in there as well as the huge and the titanic but now it seems like nobody's getting anything good from them and the price is absolutely plummeting for them a lot of people were telling me these were going to be worth 8 million, 10 million diamonds. But it seems like Big Games ended up deciding to fill these with trash. So everybody was super disappointed with these hype eggs. I'm sure some people got pretty lucky and actually were able to get the huge or Titanic. And then the other disappointing thing about those hype eggs is that people that weren't able to log in within the first 10 minutes of the update didn't get any hype eggs at all. Now, I'll have it on the screen here, but in the dev blog, there's a little note saying that you must log in within 10 minutes of the update in order to receive the hype eggs, but they did not tell anybody this at all. So a lot of people that were either at work or at school or sleeping due to time zones woke up late expecting to be able to get these hype eggs and were met with zero hype eggs. Everybody was super skeptical when they heard that you could get free exclusive eggs just for playing this update and it turns out that skepticism was right. Now I do understand the 10 minutes thing to build up the hype of being there for the update but do you have to tell people that this is going to happen it just seems really unfair that people that were either working or at school or doing something sleeping if you're in a different time zone like everybody should have access to these hype eggs especially when you advertise it like everybody can get access to these things as long as they play the update for 45 minutes this seems like a major fumble from big games and I'm sure a lot of the community is very disappointed about this. So we will see if they do anything about it. But it seems like at the moment they are going to stick to their guns about this issue. Now another controversial part of this update has been the treasure hideout. As you can see behind me, you can only enter this treasure hideout every 6 hours. And it seems like this place is super OP. I've personally seen people get up to 8 huges by grinding for just 30 minutes in this area and it's pretty unclear at the moment if this was intended by big games or if this is something they are going to patch soon. There is potential that they did patch it already but we can't really test that because you can only go in there once per account. Now a lot of people were upset because they did restart the servers twice. And personally, I had two of my accounts in here when the server restarted and I lost the full duration of me being able to use this treasure hideout. I didn't notice it before, but they also misspelled it up here. But I know a lot of people were upset because they spent a lot of diamonds to get one of the treasure hideout keys. And then they went ahead and just restarted all the servers, basically locking all of us out. I was able to get one huge on my main account from grinding this for 30 minutes, but I have seen some people get up to eight huges in a 30 minute span in here. So I guess we'll have to wait and hear from big games to see whether or not this was intentional. But at the moment, the drop rate for those huges was absolutely insane. In just a couple hours, we saw thousands of these things being open. Now, if this was an intentional thing, this could have been another attempt from big games to slow down the huge inflation in the game. 
But of course, we're going to have to wait and see what they say about that. Now, I know a lot of you are probably very angry at me because I made a ton of wrong predictions for this update. I don't know if Big Games went ahead and watched the video and did the exact opposite of everything I predicted. But I, honestly, I don't know what happened. I thought most of my predictions were very logical for this update, and it seems like they did the complete opposite for every single thing I said. The first thing I got wrong were the uses for the charm stones. As you guys know, I personally invested in over 10,000 of these things, so I was very convinced that the extra charms that we were getting were going to be useful for something important in this new update. But let me show you guys what you can use these charms for. So if you go up to the forge machine, you can click on the charm stone and basically you can turn a hundred of these charms back into a singular charm stone. This is such a dumb feature to me. I can't even imagine how somebody went to the drawing board and thought this was a good idea to implement into the game. I thought they were going to add some cool machine that was either going to give us some like new kind of charm or some fun way to use these extra charms, but instead they just add a way to turn a hundred trash charms back into one charm stone that is just going to give you another agility charm. Now I'd imagine that the investment in those charm stones is going to crash pretty hard. So that was a big L prediction from me. Sorry about that. I just thought they had some good idea and some fun thing to do with this forge machine. Besides the charm stones, you can combine little TNT to make a large TNT crate. So it's 200 individual TNTs to make one big TNT. And then as well, you can use four regular gift bags to make one large gift bag. So this actually isn't that bad. It's kind of a cool system. It just seems like such a waste of something to code for something so small. I thought they had some like really cool new idea for this, but I, I was wrong. And then another thing that I was super wrong about was this XP machine. Now, obviously we got the leak that says craft with items. So in my mind, I was thinking you would use like a ton of the little cheap potions or the cheap enchants to craft this thing. But as you guys can see here, you use the most random things to craft these XP potions. It seems like the best one to me would probably be this mastery one or the ultimate one. The huge one seems completely impractical to me. I can't really tell you guys what I was expecting you were going to use to craft these, but I just didn't think it was just going to be some random enchants and then some tech keys. It seems like this could increase the prices of these tech keys and maybe even the crystal keys because people will want to level up their ultimates and their masteries, but we're going to have to wait and see on that. Overall, though, it just seems kind of uncreative to me. I hate to be a negative guy about all of these changes, but this is just my point of view. Obviously, let me know in the comment section below if you liked a lot of these changes. I just seem to be a little frustrated with this update. And finally, another big surprise that Big Games put in this update is that they did not remove the boss chest mimic from the exclusive shop after putting a last chance sign on it for the last update. So this thing has been in three updates now. It seems very misleading personally to me that big games would do this because clearly they were trying to make it seem like this would be your last chance to buy this thing so people would go ahead and buy it with Robux. I was suggesting for you guys to be buying these for probably a week now due to that prediction and they just went ahead and just thought that maybe they could sell a few more if they kept it in the shop. I hope you guys didn't lose too many diamonds from investing in these. I did warn you that there were a lot of people buying them. I didn't expect in a billion years that they would actually leave this in the exclusive shop. They even added a last chance sign to the boss lucky block and the super magnet. So I guess this last chance thing just absolutely means nothing now. I'm sure a lot of people were very disappointed in big games for doing this. But as you guys can see, the hidden treasure ultimate did get removed for some reason. So I don't know what big games is doing, honestly. Maybe maybe it was a mistake and they meant to remove uh, the boss chest mimic and they accidentally left it in instead of the hidden treasure. But I, I don't know. I, I don't know. The hidden treasure did not have a last chance sign on it, but the boss chest mimic did. 
and they removed the hidden treasure and not the boss chest mimic. So who knows what's going on anymore? It truly seems like we are just at the mercy of big games when it comes to all of the changes with the games and just not communicating what they are doing overall. That's pretty much all I wanted to talk about so far from the update. Let me know in the comment section down below if you still want me to do a charmstone opening with all of these charms and to see what we can get from it. I guess after we're done opening all of them, we can turn them back into even more charm stones and keep opening them. So let me know in the comment section down below if that's something that interests you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel and like the video and let me know down below what you really think about this update. Sorry for being so negative. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.